little bit of smoke, a um, little bit of steam rising from the volcano. So I hope it doesn't erupt while we're here. So we're in a foot onsen just overlooking Sakurajima, Japan's most active volcano. And um, we're just at a sort of a boardwalk where there's loads of shops. And we've just had an interview with, we don't even know who it is, just this woman. TV company. Yeah, we, we think it, it's probably a TV company because there's an NHK building there, but we're not sure. So um, yeah, we might be local celebrities on Japanese TV. <laughs> We're having an ice cream, uh, but it's really beautiful. We're overlooking the volcano. Um, Kagoshima is so friendly. Everywhere we go, people are just talking to us and um, asking where we're from, so it's really nice. Sakurajima, Japan's most active volcano. I actually thought it'd be really um, remote and undeveloped, but it's actually quite developed. It's quite, it's quite busy. So when you come out of the visitor center, um, you can take a little walk around um, the coast and it goes through the lava field. So it basically follows the water's edge and you pass all these rocks that have been thrown out of the volcano and all the, the lava that's come out of the volcano when it's erupted. It's a really pleasant little walk. Um, it's pretty quiet at the moment, there's nobody here. We're just looking out over the volcano and there's a couple of men doing some fishing and it's just really quiet. The only thing you can hear is birds. It's just so beautiful. Um, and really, really peaceful. Would you look at this? Could be in Greece. Observatory, and um, it's about 373 meters above sea level. Um, we're literally at the base of the volcano, looking up, so you can just see the smoke rising from the crater. Um, you get a bus, which is actually really good. It's the Island Explorer bus, and it takes you all around the island. A one-day ticket is about 500 yen, 
um, and you can make as many stops as you want. What's the name of that mountain there, the pyramid? Um, Mount Kaimon. It's just like, um, like a perfect cone shape. We've just been watching the volcano and you can see some like jets of steam, vents. some vents just coming from the side. Um, and they're really pumping quite a lot of steam out, so it looks really cool. It's really scenic and it's not too busy. So all over Sakurajima and actually in Kagoshima itself, there's this volcanic ash and it looks a bit like sand but obviously it's not, it's really fine and uh, volcanic. We're back on the mainland. How do we feel? Uh, burnt. Red. Yeah, we're a little bit burnt, a little bit sunburnt, but it was really nice. I would highly recommend a trip to Sakurajima. Really easy to get to. It's only 15 minutes on the ferry, and it's just a really nice place. There's lots to see, uh, nice walks. It's quite well connected, lots of transport. Um, and yeah, I would highly recommend. Okay, welcome to Ubusuki. So Ubusuki is about an hour from Kagoshima. Um, we've come down here to go to the sand baths, which is quite famous in this area. It's pretty far south to be honest. I've not been anywhere as far south as this, apart from obviously Okinawa. Um, but on the Japanese mainland, this is pretty, pretty far south. Um, it seems quite a cute little Japanese town. Um, this is the train station behind me. It's quite attractive with some nice flowers. Um, with some music playing in the background, I'm not really too sure why. So this is about 10 minutes in this hot sand bath and it's really nice. Sweat is trickling down my face um, and I can feel my heart beating like quite fast like in my hands. Uh, but it's really nice. They come and like put the sand over you and stuff which is really nice. And um, I think I'm about done. I'm getting too hot. Okay, so we've got these little satsumas, but we call them kumquats in England. Kumquats. Kumquats. Some kumquats in England. Um, Josh says you can eat the actual skin of the outside, but I don't know, but it's quite... Shaved ice to come down smells really nice. 
customers. That's been Kagoshima. So tomorrow we are we're off to tomorrow. Yeah. Miyazaki. I'm going to get the coach tomorrow to Miyazaki. Uh, I hope we try and get the early coach. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, follow on for the next video.